we all bring our own life experiences into the work of allyship and racial justice. And so how do you think your experience and skills will be a plus in allyship? And, and how should we all think about using our life experiences um, to, as a benefit to allyship? Yeah, um, I think we're all, we all have our own unique stories. So we all come with our own, own stories. So I think without being redundant, learning to put words to our stories, to give them a voice. Um, they're not all the same, but I do believe that in, in telling our story, we can find some commonality. And I think as human beings, really, we all want the same thing, love, acceptance, um, equal equality, um, our kids to be taken care of, ourselves to be taken care of. So I think that coming in with our stories, putting words to it, doing our own work, and then being in a community, because I don't think we can do it alone, but I think um, finding a safe community to start and branching out, I think that's how that would be a beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that. I just, I'm so proud of you all. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm so excited and so proud. And yeah, you are really like, it is clear you've taken in this information and you understand the relationship to one's lived experience and systemic oppression and how while it is not your uh you didn't you didn't do it it the world is a better place when you work to undo it mm, nice so, so oops go ahead go ahead